educate yourself on what's going on in Nigeria. What is SARS? SARS is the Special anti robbery Squad. SARS was established to detain, investigate and prosecute people involved in crimes like armed robbery, kidnapping and other forms of crimes. But what are they actually doing? Stopping innocent people on the road just because of how they dress, just because of how they look, just because of the phones they are using. What sense does it make? And this is why we are fighting for our rights. We are not even fighting for the basic necessities like water. We are fighting for the right to live. They have no right to search our phones. Many of us work hard to get what we have right now. Looking good is not a crime. Dressing good is not a crime. Having a good phone is not a crime. Since when did looking good become a crime? I do not understand. This is why we are protesting. This is why we say SARS must end. Because this fight is ours. Only we can achieve what we want in this country. And we won't stop until our voices are heard. We won't stop until we get what we want. We want a better Nigeria. We want to put an end to police brutality. This is why we say SARS must end. SWAT must end. We want a better Nigeria, better government, better politicians that will actually want to look after the citizens. Enough is enough. I repeat, enough is enough. I love that we are all speaking up now, that we are all fighting for our rights. Because I believe that when we all come together, when we all unite as one, because we have a common goal, the goal we want to achieve will be met. To all those who have lost their lives during this period, it is so heartbreaking. I pray that you all rest in peace because your efforts will not go unheard. We will fight this fight for you. And to all those keeping quiet, to all those that say, Oh, I just want to be neutral. God is watching you guys. Aren't Nigerian lives black lives too? When the black life matter started, a lot of people carried it on their head. But now that Nigerians are suffering, but now that we need help, but now that we need you guys' voices, we hear nothing and do not forget that we see you. We see that you are doing nothing to help. We see that you are keeping quiet. We see that you are being neutral. This is a time that we can all use our voices. So why should you keep quiet? Use every platform that you have and speak up. This is not the time to be quiet. This is the time that we have to fight for what we want. For what we want. The right to live. So use everything and everything you got to talk to speak up we don't know who could be next it could be you it could be me so this is why we have to fight with everything we have we are not going to give up we are not going to be silenced any longer so i am urging you all to use whatever you have to fight to make sure that your voices are heard make sure you use the right hashtags i believe that we can all achieve what we want because our voices will not go unheard so hang in there guys hang in there we are almost there and i believe that we're going to achieve what we have set our mind to do we will not give up and we will not be silenced any longer this is our time guys and let's use it wisely we will not sit and watch this madness go on any longer we are tired of being tired we are scared to go out. Even the police that are supposed to be our friends are now people we are more terrified of. Who is meant to protect us when the people that should be protecting us are the ones killing and harming us? And that is why I say enough is enough. Looking good should not be a crime. Searching our phones should be illegal because it is our phones. So they have no right to search our phones. They need to carry proper investigations and not just stop any person they see looking good and say, oh, you are a criminal. Because I have dreads, because I use a good phone doesn't mean I'm a criminal. They see me looking good. They say, you cannot afford this. What do you mean that I cannot afford this? That mentality needs to go. That mentality of you cannot afford this needs to go. Many girls have been raped by this so-called police. Nowhere is safe anymore. Mind you, changing the name to a different name doesn't change what that person is or was before. 
it is still the same thing but just with a different name. Rest in peace to the brave young souls that died while protesting peacefully. We will not forget your efforts. Stop killing the leaders of tomorrow. Stop killing people with bright futures. Now that they see us speaking up, they want to silence us. And we will not be silenced. We will not be quiet. We will not sit down any longer. We are going to fight for our rights. Our right to live. I do not see any reason why a peaceful protest should result in killing. I do not see any reason why tear gas, water should be sprayed on peaceful protesters. This is why it is called a peaceful protest because we do not want any violence. We say no to injustice. These are the ways in which you can help contribute. First of all, you can donate whatever you can to this cause. You can use every platform that you have to speak up. Also, make sure that you use the right hashtags when posting. God bless you as you do all this. Nigerian lives matter and will always matter. We say no to corruption. We say no to injustice. We must end SARS. We must put an end to police brutality and we must end SWAT. Stay safe guys. God has our back and we are going to win this fight.